All right, folks here in South Arizona, and welcome to another Saturday Strapping Adventure. Today we're gonna to be heading a little farther out to the pretty neighborhood, one of the pretty tree-lined streets I love going to. We're gonna be hitting that today and several others. Let's go get it. Okay, what we got here? First stop. Okay. Couple little things here. There you go. All right. Hmm. Onward, we're on the board. A few things here. Let's see, got the big TV. All right. Uh, one now. Oh, it's got a metal base to it. Big. Let's give it a shot. Tip it by its tail. Maybe not all that heavy, just awkward. Yeah. This looks like a fun one to take apart. I'm sure there's all kinds of fun boards in here and whatnot. All right. Wow. That's one big TV. Jeez. A little something, something there. Yep. Like I said, folks, he's got a lot of meat on the bones. Wires, motors, boards, all kind of good stuff. All right. Turn 21 in prison doing life without parole. God damn, you can't get any better than that. Love me some Merle Haggard. Play me some Merle. Let's see what we got here. I catch this case here. A oh, Traeger even. I do have a Traeger at home that I found out here. Believe it or not. Here. Let's get that. All right, this is packed in pretty tight here. Tank the metal there. For now, light fixture here. Right there. Okay. That. Four cans of Bud Light. Okay. Sealed up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's some good grocery shopping at the curb right there. Oh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2018. Sealed. Black River Red. Sure. I'm a fancy scrapper. Why not? We'll, we'll drink some fine wine. Yeah, I'm just going to clip this. This is going to make a. If I try and do anything more, it's going to make a huge old mess. I just know it. I don't want to break that glass. Okay. Not a bad little haul. Folks here in Thompson, Arizona, here we are heading out toward the third city. We've seen this scene before here where we have the Salt River Indian community on one side and the third city on the other. We'll be picking this area. The last time I went, I had to go way far up. This time the area, a little farther in, has is, is opened up. That's cool. And hey, just got back from vacation yesterday. Feeling pretty good. So let's go get it. See if we can deconstruct this baby a little bit. A tad bit more tameable. There. That is much more tameable than the way it was before. All right. All right. 
Okay, got anything here? What are you? Well, <laughs> never been used. No fixtures. I cast ones. We got another robot car. Like I said, the city does allow it. Uh, let's see here. This is, we'll just do a little street dance in here and we can make this a lot easier. You and you. Oh, wait a minute. All these. Like, I'm sorry, what? No, no, I, I grab metal and I recycle and take it to the scrapyard. Good for you. Yeah, I have, I have a YouTube channel it's called Salvaging in Arizona, so I go around and film that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh man, see, these are all, yeah, lock mechanisms. The whole thing, why not? I can deal with that later. All lock mechanisms. We'll grab that. Now, I've shown you guys one of these before, but I'm gonna do a walk around and I'm sure somebody somewhere in one of these 45 cameras is listening to me. Hi, Waymo. You're not safe, I don't think, but hey. I wouldn't trust this thing for nothing. But there it is. As you can see, absolutely no driver. Luke, I am your father. Hi. There you go. Craziness. And it's just sitting here, just sitting here. What? I don't know if they wait on orders from the mothership or what, but craziness, absolutely nuts. All right, let's move on. What we got here? What we got here? And then on down, and we're gonna take you. We are. That's down. Oh, see, it was loose. <laughs> Oil cap was loose, so it was a gas cap. Yep. Ah, seized up. All seized up. The old standby aluminum hole. Okay, we need to tame down here in a bit, but. Right now we're good. Arizona special hiding out amongst all of this here. Okay. So, all right, that's right. Okay. That one. Okay. Anything else? Little thingy, huh? All right. Well, what we got here? Ah, okay. No, you can stay there. Okay. Either way, there's still some good stuff in there. All right. Let's move on. Oh, we got char. Well, got some wires. Okay. A little wire there. Yeah. the one all right and as you can see folks we are now in alleys we may be jumping in and out of them depending on which neighborhood we're in this one's kind of mixed up so well, let's move on fan there okay. ground these up some of these have already begun to Come apart, I see. Nice. 
sheet aluminum. All cleaned up here. Little wire collection here. See it here. There, there. Set. All right. I'll just turn the camera off. Oh, look at all these little thingies. Let's see if it's steel or what we got here. Let's see. Eh, some of them are, some aren't. That one ain't. Not bad. What we got here. Are... What's all that? That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go through all that. Why not? What the heck? Lights here. Okay. What are you here? Speaker. Grab us a single. Why not? Well, we'll open them single. See what's left of this AZ special here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Clean them. Oh, there's the front wheel. Light bulb. Okay. Oh, a scrap trail. It's driving down. This is my first walking down it. <laughs> Somebody done. This is uh, one of them stand up fans. Down the trail of scrap we go. And we got us the wires and the motors and all the fun stuff there. All right. Yeah, I'm snipped even. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. All right, folks, here in Salvador, Arizona, let's do a wrap-up of the third city. I was going to go second city today. It's a little bit closer to my house, but for some reason they had didn't have it this week but hey not bad in the third city at all not bad at all got some good bikes going on here got us a lot of good steel lawnmowers electronics all kind of good stuff and check this out i don't think i mean this is that's the original zip tie i don't know if this thing's ever even been ridden it's definitely been taken apart but i don't know i mean look at the tires they're just totally i don't think that ever even ridden but anyways not bad for the third city let's go to our other city do some scrapping what did we see here? Oh, that's what we saw. Oh, all zip tied up. Nice and nice and good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Got a little chimney or however they call those things. And ah, a little steel mail here. So heavy, heavy bug. Oh. Yeah, Got cast iron on the bottom of it. A little infilling here. Grow wave of that we do. I don't want the box. <laughs> okay. 
steel meal going on here that we do oh this funky little thing here and they're all screwed together of course Cute. Little school bus, little school project. I like those. All right. Hey, Spongy. Huh. You, sir, are getting added right now. There you go. Welcome to the club. The old standby pool stick here. You go there, and you go there. There we go. Air hockey. Oh, wow. Chunky seal stuff. All right. go-kart frames off and on the curb there not do you no you don't so we'll make a little bit of room here let's see there you go turn the wheels waiting on us so we'll get moving <laughs> well some of this I know I can take but I think so, why not? Yeah. Talk about a home office. Yikes. Oh, 
holy mackerel. Yikes. There you go. All right. Well, all right, folks, here in South Bay, Arizona, PD Story Time. Yes, PD Story Time once again. And yes, I'm quite dirty from scrapping. Hey, what the heck? Today's PD Story Time is going to be about testifying in court. There, now, there's different types of courts. I'm going to talk about a couple different ones. And if you stay at the end, I've got a, another funny story at the end. Testifying in court. What is it like to actually be sit up in court, swear in, and be testified by and be cross-examined by what is sometimes a very seasoned defense attorney? And that can be very nerve-wracking. I mean, because they know all the tricks. They've some of those guys have been doing it for 30, 40 years, and there you are, some 25-year-old new rookie going up against a guy who's been doing this for most of his life. And it's that. that but that's where you learn when you get clowned on by uh, an experienced attorney. You learn, okay. Next time, I'm not gonna do that, so. And then there's testifying before a grand jury. Now, in, here in America, a grand jury is where they decide, they impanel a group of people and they decide, the only thing they decide is whether or not there's enough evidence to bring charges. A grand jury does not decide guilt or innocence, they only decide uh, whether or not to bring charges and to bring an indictment. And there's an old term that says, uh, a grand jury can indict a ham sandwich, okay? There's some truth to that. Here's the, here's the reason why. In a grand jury, all the, the only people that are testifying are there for the state. Okay, so you have the grand jury, and you have the state's prosecutor, and then you have the witness, me in that case. And you give your side, and the other guy can't have his attorney there, nor can he be there. At least I don't think. I've never had one there. Um, and so, when only one side gives their case, I wonder which one's coming down again. That's why you can indict a ham sandwich. <laughs> And then they're testifying in civil court, okay? Civil court is for like speeding tickets, traffic tickets, things like that, okay? And some people like for speeding tickets, they'll actually hire attorneys, usually guys with uh, commercial driver's licenses, commercial driver's licenses, because that can really, really mess their insurance up, they can get fired. Uh, I had one guy, I followed him for a while, he, my gosh, this dude, he was, I think he blew like two or three red lights, he was speeding, he made improper turns, he did all, I mean, he was just flying. And I finally got him pulled over. It turned out, it turned out he had a CDL, and I, but he was driving just a regular car at the time. But I wrote him a slew of tickets. He came in with an attorney, and that attorney, for some reason the judge let this attorney talk for two and a half hours on traffic tickets. And normally the docket for civil court is one half hour. That's it. And this judge just sat there and let this guy, I mean, he's pounding on the desk. This was like the OJ trial. It's, I mean, this was insane. All that for a speed, speeding ticket. It was funny because they let all the other ones go, but they kept one speeding ticket, so he still got it. So all that stuff, even that one, can, can, can get him messed up with a CDL. Parking tickets. People will always fight parking tickets. Uh, they'll always fight them. Probably because they feel that they're impersonal, and they are. You know, and when you walk out, you see, oh, what the heck is this? And then, like I said, I wrote very, very few in my day, and the few I did I almost always went to court. I cannot tell you how many went to court. And there's there's good reason to fight it. Because a lot of times what they, first of all, there's no point, so you have nothing to lose. And second of all, what, on a lot of mine, what they would do is they would find the person guilty, but then suspend the fine. So, you know, okay, yeah, I was guilty of parking here, but they didn't cost me anything and there's no point, so who cares? You know, that's, that's why people will, will, will fight parking tickets. And boy, <laughs> I'm telling you, they get super heated about parking tickets. I, uh, like I said, I didn't write that many. Another quick, real quick story. I was out patrolling one day and I saw a guy, you know, flying the sign, we'll work for food, etc. at the side of, uh, of the off-ramp, right underneath a no trespassing sign, which we all have at all of our off-ramps here in uh, the valley. I went and talked to him about that. And when I saw him, first thing I noticed was that, so imagine my goatee right here and it going all the way down, but instead of hair, it's black ink. Okay, all the way down, black ink, white, white guy, black ink all the way down. And then he also had like Union Pacific trade train tracks. He had other, he had rail tattoos all over himself. Okay, he was all of 22, 23 years old. And I remember him telling me that uh, he thought that he was going to be riding the rails his entire life. And I'm telling you, folks that are into riding the rails, they are into riding the rails. They really have met a few of them. They got nicknames. It's, it's weird. It really is. It's, it's, it's a whole different culture. But yeah, he said, yeah, that's why I put these tattoos on me. And, <laughs> and you know, they always say, yeah, you won't even, you won't even be able to get, get a, the old cliche. You won't get a job at McDonald's with all those things. Well, that's exactly what he told me. He says, man, I can't even get a job at McDonald's with this, with this tattoo. I try putting makeup on it. I can't get, they won't hire me. I'm like, <laughs> well, 
not, not, it, it, it was definitely an interesting case and definitely a case of think before you tattoo. Now, definitely, who am I to speak of tattoos? But I got this one at age 45 and this one at age 47. So I think I had some time to think about it. Hey, okay. hope you guys like the, the PD store time this, this time. Let's head back. Well, would you look at that? Now that, <laughs> congratulations, folks. You did the best deconstruction I've ever seen. Even down to the, in the bags even. Look at that, all right. Perfecto. Okay, even take the bag of hardware, why not? All right, perfect. Looks like my trip to the office limited my possibilities of what I can take here, huh? I'll we'll have to get... There we go. Oh. This looks brand new, doesn't it? You have a cord on you. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. it to begin with. What are you? Uh, a little trimmer of some sort? All right, I'll tie this up. We'll get moving. What the heck are these things? Composting? Stinks, I'll tell you that. Ah. Fridgy there, is it? Got an acorn, just got those things on the back. No, no acorn. But good boards and whatnot. Some wires. Folks, that is two buck chuck. Definitely doing some grocery shopping on the curb today for that fine wine right there. And I think I watched an episode of The Office today after what I got today. My gosh, somebody had one heck of an office at their place and I got as much as I could. Also, this big old beast right here, curious to see how, what's all in there, what kind of boards we're getting there. Thanks again, folks. I mean, every time, like I said, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Every one of you guys, thanks again. See y'all next week. Bye-bye.